Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com So, uh, over the last couple days I've been in uh, South Lake Tahoe and uh, on the way there I brought my Verizon Galaxy Note 2 and I totally forgot uh, I haven't even figured out Wi-Fi Tether so I started, uh, I tried using the uh, Android Wi-Fi Tether app for rooted users which usually works for most phones and also even tried FoxFee um, both of those didn't work but I figure out a way um, what you need is the uh, modded version this is the same as the Wi-Fi tether app but uh, it's by Trevi and uh, it works just fine let me show you how to install it uh, you'll first need a rooted Verizon Galaxy Note 2 if you don't have it root it go to my site um, there's rooting instructions go ahead and root your Verizon Galaxy Note 2 uh, after you root it, um, you'll need to download a file from downloadandroidrom.com. So go to downloadandroidrom.com. All right, and also I'll have a link to the file straight if you don't want to go browse, uh, but I'll show you. Um, and then go to APK from the homepage of downloadandroidrom.com, and you'll find the uh, Wi-Fi tether right there. And uh, I've actually put the version I used, so um, because the future versions, I don't know they'll work but this one works just fine go to Trev uh, E Trev 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 Wi-Fi tether Trev and you'll find this Wi-Fi tether v3 underscore 3 dash pre 2 dot apk go ahead and download that um, wait like five seconds here and you'll be able to get the download link and uh, this is a modded version it has more options than the regular version um, and allows you to tether on your Verizon uh, Galaxy Note 2. Now remember, this will you know only let you not pay for the you know uh, the monthly tethering charges, but you still it still gets counted under your data plan. Uh, but uh, if you have unlimited unlimited uh, um, grandfather plan like I do, you can get uh, unlimited grandfathered um, <coughs> tethering free. So uh, once you download it, um, if you can't open it, go ahead and download ES File Explorer uh, or any file explorer and go browse to your SD card and then download folder where you will actually find the actual file that you downloaded. And go ahead and, I have actually two copies here because I downloaded it twice. Um, but go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to install it. Uh, if you get some kind of unknown sources error, just go to settings and you know you can click uh, unknown sources on it and then try going back to yes file explorer and install it. So once the, you've installed it, you should have Wi-Fi Tether Trevi mod. The Trevi mod is um, allows you to you know get it working. So here we're gonna go to uh, change device profile, set it to generic ICS uh, JB um, WLAN zero. This one. All right, and next you're gonna go change setup method to net NDC master. All right, and also make sure uh, send net D max max uh, client CMD is on, and also set uh, Wi-Fi encryption uh, to whatever you want. Uh, I'll just put uh, um, let me just put uh, ten A's one two three four five six. Oh, is that six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I just put ten A's. All right, for my encryption, SSID. You can call it uh, whatever. I'm gonna call Android Tether uh, Note. That. Nah, whoops. Let me just call it Note Two. Ah. V Note Two for Verizon Note Two. All right, V Note Two. And channel. Um, you can put it whatever. And also make sure Wi-Fi driver reload is checked on. All right, and keep going down and make sure routing fix is on and that's all that's required and you should be all good to go and uh, go back and start tethering and make sure you hit grant when that comes up and let me go ahead and connect it uh, from my other AT&T Galaxy Note 2 and show you that it's working uh, so it's tethering and also you can go to uh, menu button show log make sure there's no errors no errors alright and you should be all good to go so let me go ahead and connect it to the new Wi-Fi uh, let me see is it gonna show up here there you go I got V Note 2 and once it shows up it's pretty much guaranteed you're gonna get uh, free tethering so I'm gonna press 10 A's 1 2 3 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Connect. And boom, shakalaka. We've got uh, free tethering. This is running off my Verizon Galaxy Notes 4G LTE. Uh, let's go to Google. Oops, Google.com. Ah, let me just type whatever. There you go. So Google works. Um, let me go ahead and download speed test real quick uh, to show you that it's working fine. Well, let's just do it together. Yes. There we go. Um, speed test. And this should download really fast because I get pretty good speeds here in my basement office. Um, so that's it pretty much. And it sh you should have a uh, free tethering. And again, this does count under your data plan. Um, so, you know, but you don't have to pay separate for monthly tethering charges. So it lets you bypass it. And if you have grandfathered unlimited plan like I do, then you get free tethering. But just don't abuse it. Uh, you know, they might kick you off for ice and if you abuse it, like, you know, just use it lightly. Don't go overboard and, you know, run your whole internet off it or download a bunch of, like, HD movies. I use about, you know, somewhere in between, anywhere between two to, like, 10 gigabytes uh, per, per month on my unlimited plan. Which is, you know, average, but I think if you go over that, like, go like 15 or 20 uh, gigabytes, they'll probably cut you off because, um, uh, you know, you're using up, you're abusing the service. There you go. So I've got 7 megabits per second download uh, with the tether on, and uh, mine's tethering. And you can turn it off at any time, and you can see, clearly see, I've already used 17.45 megabytes um, during that test. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up there. And uh, if you want to know more information about the Note 2 stuff, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Rhyme of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, um, um, enjoy your free tether. And, uh, uh, you know, now you can get free tethering on your Verizon Galaxy Note 2. And I think if, you ha if you're having trouble with some other, uh, the regular Wi-Fi tether for other phones, you can try this method too, although I haven't tried it. It might work uh, on those occasions um, where you're having trouble, not just Verizon. This might, method might work for many other phones. So anyway, thanks you guys. Uh, see you all later. Have a great day.